Here's a quick video for you. We have this Manitowoc, it's ID 0522A. It keeps on shutting off on HPCO, uh, the high pressure cutout uh, safety. It's shut off for 60 minutes. We're gonna take off all these panels real quick and see if we can figure out why it's shutting off on HPCO. Without energizing anything, I can pretty much tell you what the issue is. This fan blade is not spinning at all. It is stiff, which essentially just means that this condenser fan motor is no good and needs to be replaced. I am going to verify that power is going to it, although I know it doesn't really matter because the motor's so stiff. Let me double check that the fan motor is actually getting power. If it is, we'll move forward with trying to replace that condenser fan motor. Here's what I did. I unplugged the machine and then on the fan cycle switch, I put a jumper to where instead of power passing through the fan cycle switch to eliminate the possibility that that is not sending power to my condenser fan motor, I put it on a two to one jumper and my neutral wire, which is right here, I traced it. So I know that my neutral and my L1, which is right here, uh, I know for sure that those are on the uh, load side of the contactor. And then I'm just gonna go back here, find my power cord, wherever it is, plug it in. And I know for sure that my, uh, my fan motor is getting power and it's not gonna come on, which is fine. It's actually humming quite a bit. I shouldn't really do this, but doesn't hurt nothing. Actually, I think it technically spins the other direction, but yeah, it's getting power, it's, it's humming, it's vibrating. So instead of letting that thing shut off, I just unplugged it. Pretty easy to, to find, but through the Manitowoc website, you can find the uh, part number that you need, which is this one, the 2412929. If you throw that into the search, make sure it matches. That's what it is. It's $444. I do carry some used parts with me to get customers up and going. This part number says it's what 509096. This is actually the exact match for that machine. Even though it doesn't match that part number, uh, this part number I'll show you on the machine kind of hard to tell but just so that you don't think that I'm lying five zeros nine zero nine six it's an exact match let me show you how to swap that fan motor out with the machine unplugged I'm going to try to give myself as much room as possible I'm going to take out these two screws here these two screws here there's one right there that I need to take out and then I can essentially push this whole condenser back to get access to uh, these two are pretty tough and uh, to get this fan motor out as well. It's not something that you have to do, but I do it to give myself a little bit more room. Obviously, you have your copper lines on the other side that you have to be careful not to bend and break. But pushing that out makes it easier to access these as well as those. And then we can pull that whole assembly out as one takes a little bit of doing, but that'll come out just like that. And then we're gonna take this apart, put the new motor on this bracket, put the fan blade on the new motor, and then we're gonna put it right back in there. Just got the fan blade swapped from this bad motor that doesn't spin to the new motor. And as you can see, it spins freely. This one I can't even turn with my fingers, it's so stiff. To switch the fan blade, it's just that one little uh, bolt that holds it in place. Now we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna flip this guy over. And all you're gonna do is take out 
these four nuts. This bracket will sit right on top of there and then we'll put the nuts on there and we'll be ready to put it back inside this machine. Bracket is off. The old fan motor, the bracket goes on. Our replacement fan motor, just like that. And then we're gonna replace these four nuts. Got this all reassembled. I'm gonna try to put this in here with one hand so you can see how much easier it makes it. Essentially, ow, 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 it's pinching me. Essentially, it slides right in there. And some people might say that you can, let's see if I can get that to drop down inside there too. I think before the way I used to do it was I would take the fan blade off in place to get it out. This actually just makes it easier. So now all you gotta do is just tighten up those two down there and then put those two up there in and then reroute, reroute your wires and you're good to go. All put back in place and secure. That now spins freely. My wires are wrapped up this way. I'm going to be back in two or three days to put a brand new motor in. This is just temporary so that these guys can have some ice during the hot fire seasons up here in NorCal. But I, I left out a little part. I actually took out a screw here and a screw here to make this thing easier to, to pull back. Uh, and I'm gonna replace all my screws and fire this thing up, see if we make ice. It's like we are up and running, fan motor is spinning. I didn't show you before, but this is the motor that I pulled out. This is the used one that I put in. And for whatever reason, this one decided it wanted to stop working as well. It spins freely, but it just started going uh, uh, and then it just, it stopped. And then the same HPCO uh, happened. But now we have condenser inlet temperature of 120, condenser outlet it's 108. Our evaporator is pulling down to temp. It started at 70 and it's slowly been going down. Eventually it'll be around 18 degrees, uh, maybe even lower than that. While we're waiting for this thing to drop ice, I encourage you to check out Ice Machine 411. We have a bunch of videos on there for ice machine service, ice machine cleaning and troubleshooting. There are playlists for machines just like this. So if you didn't find what you needed on this video, check out the playlist. It's the Manitowoc playlist. There's a bunch of different videos uh, ranging from everything to uh, how to replace a water pump to how to clean an ice machine, uh, how to just diagnose why the machine is not working. Go ahead and go check it out. We're gonna wait and see if this thing actually drops ice or not. We just cycled into harvest make sure the ice drops. We were at 18 minutes, 45 seconds freeze time. And just like that, we got ice. Let's check our bridge thickness. It's looking pretty good. Our harvest time was only 36 seconds, which was even better. 